Hey guys and welcome back to this video. In this series I am making a FPS game inside of Roblox. If you do not know what FPS means, in this case it means first person shooter. Because we are making a first person shooter game. Um, this is part 2, we are going to continue from part 1. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, please do that before you watch part 2. Because part 2 just continues on. If you haven't subscribed yet, go subscribe and hit the bell and like. Because yes, th that's epic. So in the last tutorial, we saw like if uh, you can click the guns. If we test the game out. Takes a bit. And you, you can choose with a assault rifle, real gun or shotgun. I want a real gun. You're going to see your camera gets a bit, little bit glitched. Which is by Roblox. Because of the guns. So the only proper way to fix it without messing up the guns is just... Getting like preset models like assault rifle, and then you just want to delete your weapons. Well, I'm gonna keep them for now. For example, this one, you put that over here, and you delete that one, and you're gonna test your game. And now we got an assault rifle without um, getting our camera glitched. Um, th th that's just a little, little, little proper way of how to do this. I recommend getting, like, good, good, good guns and not just some crappy. Then over here you can do a real gun. And a sh shotgun. Play. I want an assault rifle. Oh. Okay, that, that one is glitched. We're, we will find a new one soon enough. So let's, let me test the real gun. Oh, we got a real gun. Not the best gun of you know, you know, but it's just, just an example. And the shotgun. Yeah, that this is just kind of the proper way to fix this. I'm gonna get a new assault rifle. Cause this one broke. I'm gonna put that over here in case. Okay, let's let me set this out really, really, really quickly. Okay, doesn't work. Yep, this one works. Yep, yeah, this is the perfect gun. So now you got this. Um... Let me see. Yeah, okay, that works. So we should go on with the next thing, and we're gonna find out really soon what that is. So now we will be making a system. So if you kill a player, uh, if you kill an enemy, you're gonna give uh, you're gonna get some cash and a kill, a kill. Sorry, uh, because we're gonna lock these guns up later on, and then they're gonna cost money. So we can fix this in an easy way. So insert a folder, right click, rename, and name it leader stats system. Click the plus, insert script, right click on the script, rename it, and name it handler. Then once you type game.players dot player added, comma connect to a function of a player. Local ls with capital ls is equals to instance that new folder ls.name 
equals to leader stats. Because yes. And then ls the parent is equals to the player. So now we just made a function. If the if, if the uh, script finds a player, then I'm gonna immediately execute the script. Local kills is equals to instance dot new number value. Kills dot name equals to kills. Kills dot parent equals to ls. Kills dot uh, value equals to zero. Local cache is equals to instance that new number value. Cache dot parent is equals to ls. Cache dot um, value equals to zero and cache. Cache dot name is equals to cache. Then player dot character added. Colon connect function character character dot humanoid dot died colon connect function nothing local uh, local killer equals to character dot humanoid colon find first child killer local leader stats equals to killer colon uh, killer dot value colon find first child leader stats if killer is uh, like the wavy thing equals to nil and create uh, and killer dot value is other than nil then local cash amount is equal to 10 local kill amount is equal to 1 leader stats dot cash dot value is equal to leader stats dot cash dot value plus cash amount you want to copy that? You want to copy that line, and over here instead of cash, say kills, and the kill amount. This is your script. I will be zooming out so you can see the entire script. Here you go. I'll be waiting a few seconds. Great. Let's move on. We're gonna be testing this out right now. Here I am in my um, testing world. If we click assault rifle, we are getting an assault rifle. And now, if we shoot on my alt, well, on my other account, he is almost dead. And he died, and we didn't get any more. Oh! We got some Roblox errors, which is blocking our script. Here I am. Uh, well, here I am again. Only one error. Assault rifle. And we see, I killed my alt, and we have, um, and we got the uh, one kill and ten cash. This completely works. Hmm. I noticed something was wrong. Um, so, um, what I want to do is, uh, this script. So, local creator is equals to creator, like this. Just want to, um, copy this script over. Give you a few seconds. Because it has to be creator. And I didn't notice. So, here you go. So, now we will be making a, um, for the last thing, uh, we'll be making a GUI. So, if you die, you're, it's gonna say, like, responding 543210. So, over here, you wanna get a new GUI, and you wanna name it, um, Death GUI. I wanna delete script inside of it. I wanna delete everything inside of this. And then you wanna call this the, um, the, the, the counter, counter label, and the uh, the main frame goes one comma zero comma one comma zero. Background color completely black. This one one comma five uh, one comma zero comma one comma zero. Text color this. You want to delete it. You want to make another one. And this is going to be the main label. This one is like um, you died.
you just want to customize your GUI. You can follow my steps if you want. Um, has to be a bit. Uh, oh, uh, yep. No, no, hold on. Let me test. Yep. Okay, that works. Respawning in blah blah blah. So you want to make in your def uh in your died function you want to make another script. Uh, died handler two. Local player. Well, game the players the player added clone connect to the function of a player. Player that character added clone connect function character. Mm, let me zoom in a bit. <sighs> um, yep. Local humanoid is equals to character colon find the first child. Humanoid. Humanoid dot died. Colon connect. Function. Uh, nothing. Of course. Uh, they want to do. Uh, well, player dot player GUI clone clone find well player the player GUI dot death GUI dot visible equals to true and then for um, counting is equals to well over here local timer is equals to five seconds. For counting equals um, timer comma zero minus one do gonna make a for loop. Um, player the player GUI dot um, death GUI dot uh, dot mainframe dot counter label the text is equals to responding in dot dot mm, counter wait one and then over here player dot player gui colon find well player dot player gui dot death gui dot uh, main frame dot visible equals to false and over here dot main frame Line 19. There's no line 19. Uh, I want to test that again. There is legit no line 19. Oh. I have found the error. Instead of counting, you want to do counting, of course. My mistake. Oh my god. Okay, well, anyways. So I found another error. But it's like. It's about the leader stats. So we're gonna forget that. I'm gonna do one more thing that is this. Hmm. Well, like, that's a thing to fix in another tutorial. Um, I think I'm gonna. Um, end the tutorial over here because. Um, in the next part, I want to make the actual system, like, the, the minigame system, like that. So, if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell and like the video. And if you actually enjoyed this, do what I said above. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Adios.